Why do we argue with people? Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13 says, But exhort one another daily, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Why does it seem that we as a people are just insisting on being right all the time? Is it because of our competitive nature or is it because of ego or just because of plain old sin? Think about this for a minute. Where in the Bible do we see God sanctioning competition? Where in the scriptures does Christ encourage a competitive nature? You can look high and low. And by the way, please do search the scriptures to see if not only what I am saying is truth, but your pastor, preacher, teacher, mother, father, sister, or brother, husband, wife, etc., is truth as well. Look at Acts chapter 17, verse 11. Search the scriptures and see. Competition is the act of striving against one another to gain or to win something. Christ doesn't want us working against each other, but with each other to exhort one another. That means to help and encourage one another, as the text that I've read says. Being competitive makes us sinners think falsely that we are better than another sinner. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being competitive can hone and foster a spirit of selfishness among other things, my friends. I mean, it simply means I got mine. Now you go get yours. Now, let's not confuse and equate pulling one's own weight with having a competitive spirit. Being competitive is why we now have participation trophies where everyone is a winner. This also could have a negative consequence. You see, the bottom line is found in Romans chapter 12, verse 18. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Now, this doesn't mean you should allow yourself to be a doormat and allow people to walk all over you. No, what it means is this. If you have a point to make, make it as calmly and Christ-like as possible. Stick with the issue at hand. Don't name call or belittle the other person and allow them also to be heard. If after all of this, they simply cannot reciprocate or as the older generation says, find themselves a fool. Leave them a fool. And do what Christ did. Ignore them. And keep it moving. Read in John chapter eight. How Jesus dealt with people who brought a fight to him daily. And he basically declined their invitation to an argument and simply ignored them. You have the same, the same opportunity. And by God's grace, he can give you that same power that he gave Christ to decline the invitation and walk away. By the Holy Spirit's power, brothers and sisters, exercise your right to live a life peaceably among all men and free from the competitive drama of sin. God bless you, but it's time to wake up.